Good morning from the beautiful Riga. We are back home and uh, we are leaving home again. We are going on a bicycle ride across one beautiful part of Latvia. If you wish, you can come and join us. So yeah, it's Saturday, 8.30 in the morning and we are about to leave Riga. We'll be cycling all the way. We started from the home and uh, yeah, so we'll be cycling for two days, half of the time we'll be through a national park and then at some point we'll take a train back, back home. I really like these kind of uh, trips, these kind of adventures because they require little to no planning because yeah you can just leave from your home, just go somewhere either hike or cycle and then come back come back either on your own or take a train, bus or taxi as we sometimes do because taxis are very reasonably priced in Latvia so here is the city center of Riga the old town on the left yeah, that's the best part about these kind of adventures that uh, they require little to no planning Wow, this is empty even for Latvia, but I think it's uh, because of... Yeah, we just had the biggest national holiday celebration, the midsummer. People most likely aren't even in Riga at home. People most likely are enjoying the great weather somewhere in the countryside. We have more or less left the city and now we are in the suburbs and uh, well, soon we'll be in the nature because uh, today our plan is to follow the longest hiking trail in the Baltics, the forest trail. So yeah, so we are looking forward to nature. A quick and short practical tip for those of you planning to do the same. The best place to cross this highway is by this shop depot. Right now there is a construction going on, but uh, normally there is a pavement going all the way until pedestrian bridge that uh, crosses this highway. Yeah, all right now this pavement looks like this, but soon I guess they will finish it. Oh, okay, the bridge is closed for bicycles, but it's still doable if you are carrying your bicycle. Just look at this quiet beach. Yeah, this lake beach and then this is what you get in Latvia, but uh, can you imagine a beach this empty and quiet and peaceful in, I don't know, France, Italy, Spain, let alone in India or Pakistan? Yeah, and I know what beaches look like in Pakistan. I remember Karachi beach all packed with people, camels, buggies driving on the beach. It's a completely different thing what we have here in Latvia. This place looks completely different. It looks completely different from the last time when we saw it. It was um, during the winter, it was minus 25 degrees, all covered in snow. A completely different sight. I must say that I prefer it this way even though it looks really beautiful also in winter if you have snow and it's like a really cold and so on but anyway I like it more during the summer it's only the second time that we are on this road here like ever and the trail should be starting somewhere soon We just stopped by the river Gauja 
is the same river that we'll be following today and also tomorrow and um, look at this place back in the days i can i don't know probably probably also maybe 50 years ago or 30 years ago but uh, also 100 and 200 years ago in this place people were using a wooden raft to get across the river uh, there was a rope all across the river and um, people were holding on it on it and pulling the raft across the river and the interesting thing is that here this raft was the only raft in the region which also had the lantern on it and benches for passengers for the comfort of passengers what a useful fact so if there ever comes a day when someone asks you where in latvia in the 18th century there was a raft that had benches and a lantern on it you will know you will know that it's the ilkenes parts out of the across river gauja yeah but now let's continue and do you recognize these berries are forest strawberries actually i don't know what do you call it if these really are forest strawberries but yeah this this is what we are eating now and we are finally in a forest turned out that uh, like half of the trail between uh, riga and sigurd is actually on the roads Mostly these are smaller roads, but still these are roads. Berries, I see more strawberries. I'll have to buy a stand at some point for my bike. So strawberries, strawberries, strawberries. Yeah, I don't know what do you call them. Forest strawberries, wild strawberries, I don't know. whatever you call them, but then um, we eat them in Latvia. On the right you can see trail marking of the forest trail. He's speaking of this trail, it's, as I said, the longest hiking trail in the Baltics, in the Baltic States. Baltic States, it's uh, true oh, to it's three countries. Oh, I cannot cycle. Yeah, Baltic States consists of three countries. Lithuania at the bottom, bordering with Poland, uh, Latvia in the middle, and Estonia on the top. And this uh, hiking trail, the forest trail, it, it goes across all three countries and uh, spans for more than 1000 kilometers yeah and here it finally looks like a real hiking trail the forest trail as its name suggests wow what a beautiful forest and there are quite a lot of them in latvia if you would just take a road from Riga to sigulda it would be around 50-55 kilometers, depending from where would you start. But uh, following the hiking trail, it looks like it's gonna be more like 80. We'll see at the end. Inchukalna Velnala, Inchukalna Devil's Cave. So nice being here because it's not hot here. It's cool. And I think this is the cave. Devil's Cave. Oh, so cool.
so cool. And this is the path that we took to come here. The funny thing is that uh, when nine years ago we were going to India to cycle all across India, we were thinking that uh, this is the kind of roads that we will find there. But in fact, cycling in India turned out to be much more, I don't know, modern, because mostly we were cycling on um, high quality roads and then, um, yeah. And if we wanted to find these kind of roads, we just had to go from capital of Latvia to the second most popular city in Latvia. <laughs> you don't have to go to India to find these kind of adventures, leave your home and just go to the next city. So 55 kilometers and how far are we? Where is Sigolda? Sigolda is here and we have done, um, I'd say, uh, Eighty four, percent, yeah, maybe. four fifths, eighty percent, yeah. So where is Sigolda? Here. Okay, not far away. Let's yeah, let's 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 relax a little bit and uh, keep going. Our today's goal is Sigolda, and tomorrow we don't really have a goal. Tomorrow we'll be just uh, cycling and see how it goes. Maybe we go until Cesis. Maybe we'll go all the way until Valmira, we'll see. The only thing that we'll be looking at is the train schedule and uh, so yeah, so we can get a train back to Riga and that's all. That's our plan. It turns out that this place, back in the days, in the times of the first independence of Latvia, this place no, 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 was called the Latvian Hollywood. And all because many famous Latvians, including Actors and film directors used to spend their summers here. They liked this place, which was on the crossroads between St. Petersburg and Riga. Yeah, people like being in the nature. This is it. 100 years later. This is what it looks like 100 years later. The only celebrities. Una. The only celebrities. I guess no one else is coming, so we'll be going. And just look what we have here. I'll try to find a better viewpoint. River Gauja. We are approaching Sigolda. It's uh, really close already, maybe like one kilometer only until the city center. Uh, what surprises us is that uh, now, on a Saturday, there are almost no people. We even uh, didn't see people with cars, uh, let alone hikers or cyclists. Surprising. Maybe it's because of the holiday, because people are somewhere else or too tired of I don't know, holidaying for too long together with the weekend it's a four day holiday I don't know Sigold early in the morning on a Sunday Una early in the morning on a Sunday in Sigolda. It's not that early actually, it's uh, like 8, 8.30 am uh, because we realized that uh, there are only a few options that we have either to rise really early like 3, 4 am and uh, cycle for all day or or, 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 do as we are planning to do now, just uh, cycle half of that, 
which means like go at whatever time you want and uh, depending on how fast are you planning to do how fast are you planning to go and uh, yeah so we are taking the easiest option we don't want long and hard ride today and now we are looking for the trail from Sigolda there should be a trail I have done yeah 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 it looks so I have done it once and it looks like the place yay yay and I think it will start with a steep climb down the stairs and I see Uno is looking forward to the stairs down the stairs and yeah we'll be down the, oh, down the stairs yeah yeah, yeah we'll be uh -huh, climbing it's better than up the stairs but carrying a bicycle down the stairs yes it's fine okay um yes but, but speaking of yesterday yesterday turned out to be 75 kilometers uh it took us more or less eight hours including all the stops so yeah so thinking of today uh we realized that yeah we don't want to have a long and tough day because it's uh, it would be in the hardest option it would be 100 kilometers maybe a little bit more that means more than 10 hours cycling on trails so so the easy day it is the easy day it is let the trail begin let the, trail begin. Let the oh. fun begin uh, so these I are here a couple of times i think uh, I yeah this. I, I think it was during the winter so this is it yeah definitely are you sure I'm not sure. No, these weren't the right stairs. Here are the stairs that we'll be taking down. I'm glad we checked before uh, descending. Yeah, that was a good idea. <laughs> we found Bali swing in Sigold. An export for me. No queue. Right there. No. No queue right there. No, no fee, no queue. No fee, no queue, no... No people. No Bali. Yeah, this will be the right stairs because here is the trail marking the stairs. And we'll be cycling through Gauja National Park. From Sigulda to Cesis. And someone here is having a fun. <laughs> I can't get any higher. Ah. No, 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 <laughs> no. Ah. And we are back in the woods again, cycling to Cessis. You just look at this beautiful building. Back in the days it used to be a kindergarten. And this is Ligatne. I have a feeling that every small town that we are going through is uh, more quiet than the previous one. But all of them are beautiful. Yeah, so this is Ligatne. The outskirts of Ligatne, but since it's not a big place, the city center is maybe like one kilometer back only. You just look at these old buildings, traditional Latvian houses, wooden houses. This is the kind of houses you see in Latvia in the countryside. Yeah, beautiful wooden houses. 
Yeah, and as we were just talking, we, do not, uh, we are really surprised to see these uh, kind of wooden houses, the traditional houses, in such a good condition because um, many of them in other towns they are here in much worse condition but here in Ligatne it's nice they look nice and this road also looks really good yeah and on the left you can see the other type of houses you see a lot in smaller towns in Latvia, especially in smaller towns, but also in cities. These, I think they are from the Soviet times. From the Soviet years in Latvia. In smaller places, smaller towns, you see three-story buildings, uh, but, but usually they are five-story buildings. It was such a good idea to make this day easier and shorter. Either today is a better day or it's a much more popular, I don't know, part, road. Because today we saw cyclists, yeah, so many people, yeah, cyclists, hikers, just families or friends on the beaches calicers and then 15 minutes later everyone left and we are the only ones on this beach but we are also leaving this is the beauty I was promising when I started this video Good afternoon, comrade. Can we continue? I think he's saying yes. In Latvian there is a saying that uh, silence means acceptance. So the comrade gave his permission for us to proceed through his town. And here is the next place. This trail just keeps delivering beautiful places one after another. And here you can see that even though the water in Latvia in many places is kind of brown, but it's actually really clean and transparent and so on. Beautiful. And I know that soon there will be one more really beautiful place. Uh, because uh, I have done this part of the trail, I did it, I don't know, a year ago or two years ago. I was cycling from Valmiera to Sigolda through Cesis. I look at this and I think people are probably complaining that there is that there is nowhere to hold on while walking the trail and so the tree falls down the tree falls down and gives people what to hold on <sighs> so hot and stairs again stairs we are doing a small detour because i want to show you this place i want to show you what it looks like when you go on top of it this small cliff and then we'll show you what it looks like from the side the place that I think is one of the most beautiful places in Latvia we left the bicycles and we'll go on foot a couple hundred steps and we are here. We are here. Almost on top of Latvia. 
Now let's go and see what it looks like from the down below. And this is it from down below. Not as impressive on a, such a sunny day, I must say. But trust me, it looks beautiful when the lighting is right. For example, during the autumn, about the time of sunset. When you are coming from there, approaching it as a big wall. And this is where we are going to test this. The final leg. There were trails, there were roads, there were steep roads, kebab, uh, train, two hours on a packed train with no air conditioning, two hours of dreaming for, of uh, cold river swims. And now we are in Riga. That's it. It was fun. It was interesting. It was awesome. But we are tired. See you soon.